I think it's fair to say that Luis Enrique and Spain haven't had the best of starts to their Euros 2020 campaign. You look at their group, Sweden, Slovakia and Poland, and you'd honestly expect Spain to top this group without much of a problem. But right now, after match day two, they sit in third spot with a good chance of getting knocked out if they don't beat, of course, Sweden in their final game. I don't think any of us expected a situation where Spain will be fighting for their lives in the group stages itself, and maybe that's why... Spain do need a bit of fixing and that's exactly why we're here in today's video we're going to be fixing the Spanish national team yep today's challenge is going to be international themed so here's how this is going to work guys we're going to be taking charge of Spain with the goal of winning the upcoming Euros so in 2022 we've got the World Cup which we're of course going to get through but then I think in 2024 we've got another round of the Euros and that's going to be the final tournament we play we get one shot to win that Euros tournament and we'll try to do it with the team we build. Today's video, guys, is sponsored by One Football, which, in my opinion, is the best football news app out there. It's the Euro season. We've got literally three games every day, and it's kind of difficult to keep up with everything. And well, One Football has you covered. You can get your notifications and live score updates for every game in the Euros, also lineups. So you're basically set up to enjoy the Euros in the best possible way. One of my favorite features about this app is that you can follow your favorite team and get notifications for just that team so i'm following spain because i'm backing them for the euros the app is by the way completely free on both ios and android so what are you waiting for links will be in the description make sure you download the one football app big ups to them for sponsoring today's video it's the best way to keep up to date with the footballing world now since this isn't career mode i can't just go ahead and sign players for spain we're gonna take control of sevilla what we're gonna do is we're gonna build an amazing spanish team with sevilla with a lot of core spanish players and try and give them development plans, boost their overall to the maximum possible rating. And in 2024, we'll be ready with, of course, a team to challenge for the Euros. Here are the rules of today's challenge. The objective is to win the Euros. Now, I know we've got a World Cup coming up, but because it's the Euros season, we're going to give priority to the Euros, and that's going to be the end goal. We've got to simulate every single game we play, but when we do get to the Euros final, hopefully that is, we're getting only one shot at this, guys we can play the Euros final. If we don't get there, we're not playing any games and we've basically failed this fixing challenge. So the stakes are high. I'm ready for this. We're going to be taking charge of Sevilla for the purpose of this video. I thought, you know what, let's go away from Barca or Madrid. But of course, because the Sevilla part of the video isn't really important, we're giving ourselves 500 million to build an amazing Spanish national team and uh, with Sevilla, of course, and to build their overall up. Let's begin with season one. Season one begins with Spain. And honestly, the approach has got to be to focus on like a first 11. Because I feel like if we sign a lot of Spanish players and put them on the bench, we'll be hurting their potential. So I think just choosing 11 insane Spanish players for the first team that I want to see in the Euros when we get there has got to be the place. So... That's what the theme is going to be around signings. Luckily for us, this project, money isn't really of, uh, of any issues, so we can sign anyone we want. And let's go. Let's start building the team we want for the Euros 2024. Okay, guys, we've made our first signing. So out of the core team I'm looking to build for the upcoming Euros, Pedri's going to play a big part. And we've signed him for 75 million for Barcelona. So I'm not going to show you every signing because this is a Spain rebuild. But I'll show you once I've like decided the midfield I'm looking to build for the 2024 Euros. But Pedri is definitely a part of it. He is 79 rated right now. Stats are looking great. A lot of potential. Top class signing, I feel. Okay, so we've spent a lot of time signing a ton of players for this Sevilla team. We're just using Sevilla, guys, as like a team to build up the next generation of Spanish players. So it doesn't matter um, how they play here. All, all it matters is their overall goes up. Even if they leave at some point, it's fine. We just need them to reach their max potential. I've signed Ansu Fati, of course. We've converted him to a striker as well because I feel like that's where we'll be able to like fix Spain's problems with not having a quality striker. Ansu Fati will fix that. Pedri in midfield, we've brought him in as well. Pau Torres, we've got Oyarzabal. This is the future of Spain, guys. Eric Garcia, Unai Simon. Let's hope by putting development plans on all of them, we'll be able to see a very high-rated Spanish national team come the international tournament. So, Let's get it. Also, guys, we can, of course, keep tabs at how all the other Spanish national team players are doing. 
because we can just keep selecting whoever we want for the squad whenever friendlies or anything comes up so that way we'll be sorted you know if we find hidden gems outside of the place we've signed also guys we are using a mod that has put in all like the official teams uh, from the World Cup qualifiers and all, and even for the Euros. So we've got teams like North Macedonia, all of them in the game. But of course, before the Euros come up, we've got the World Cup qualifiers, where we'll, I guess, get to know how our team is really doing. And in 2022, we've got the World Cup, of course. So yeah, this is our group. We'll see how we do in the qualifiers. All right, guys. So qualifiers for the World Cup are actually going pretty well for us. Three games played, three wins. And we've now got France, which is a game we're going to be just simming and showing and just seeing how we do, okay? Um, looking at the team right now, this is what I'm going to rock against them. Probably kind of this is going to be like our team when we do get to the Euros in 2024. I, I think I forgot to put Ansu Fati in the national team, so that's an L. We'll have him for the next round of fixtures though, but let's see how we do against, of course... France. By the way, guys, look at Ferran Torres. That's the goal with Sevilla. We sign all these talents up, put development plans and boost their overall. Torres is already up to an 85. Anyways, let's sim this one against France and see how we do. Come on, come on. Ah, fair enough, I guess. France are too good, man. It'll take us a while to build a team to beat them. Okay, guys, so we're at the end of Season 1, and I think the first round of qualifiers are done. There's still more left. We're in second spot. Top two qualify for the World Cup. That's how it works. So we're just about there. France are just too good, man. But hopefully, the team that we're building is making leaps and bounds of progress. Because look at this. This team, I think, can win the Euros in 2024. Because they'll be all 90-plus rated, I think, at least. So we're just grinding this uh side out well next season we'll continue to like build the team and yeah that's that's what we're gonna do guys so let's head into season two okay no wonder ansu fati went up by seven ratings in a season by the way the player face is looking nice on him 31 goals okay so season two begins and i've just signed ricky puig uh, for sevilla because i feel like um the player growth we're getting with this sevilla team is just crazy why not try and boost up Puig as well by putting development plans on him? So that's probably the only signing I'm making now. Um, also, a pro tip. Box-to-box -box plans have just been insane for me in this challenge. So we're going to be putting that on Ricky Puig as well. Now we're just going to sim until the end of this season. I'm pretty sure we don't have the World Cup this year. We've just got qualifiers again. Um, so we'll see how we do. We've got a few friendlies coming up as well. That's what the plan is for this season. So, oh, we might have the World Cup. Oh, yeah, we do. End of this season, we've got the World Cup. That'll be a good test to see how we do. Okay, so it's another round of games against France, who are the, the team to beat right now in Group D at least. So let's see how we fare against them this time. Mbappe, Griezmann starting for them. But looking at our team, we've got ballers as well. Like, we should be able to beat them, man. Come on. 3-2, let's go. That is progress. That is progress, guys. Let's go. Gaia with a brace. Mad. Let's go, guys. Th that, that gives me confidence for the upcoming tournaments. Okay, so we're done with the qualifiers for the World Cup. All the games are done. We finished second, three behind France. But look at this, guys. Only the team that finished first go directly to the World Cup. The team in second have got to play a playoff round. And we just about snuck our way to, of course, the World Cup's group stages by beating Greece 2-2 on away goals. Stressful. Very stressful. Austria knocked out Netherlands, so they're out of the World Cup. Mad. Anyways, the World Cup groups have been announced. We're with Norway, Czech, Czech Republic, and Japan. That's fine. I think we should be able to get it done. We're not going to be playing any games in the World Cup. It's just the Euros we're going to be playing. That's if we reach the finals. So, let's hopefully smash it out in Group E. Okay, by the way, for the World Cup, it's time to select the squad we're taking. Ah, this is going to be difficult, man. Who do I pick? 84 cents here, we keep him, we keep them. Oh, 92, Ferran Torres, that's mental. Unfortunately, we can't take Danny Olmo, so I think I'll leave him and put Saul in there. Uh, Ricky Puig, 88 rated, what on earth has happened? See, I told you, man, the box-to-box -box development plan is broken. Ramos is still 88 rated, so I think we'll take him, guys. We will take him. Yeah, and I think that's going to be it. That's going to be it for the squad, for the World Cup. Let's go. So we've managed to top Group E. 
not a problem at all. Three games played, three wins, we move. And Norway making it, of course, the round of 16. Let's actually take a look at the other groups. Germany going through. Belgium and Turkey going through as well. Argentina just about making it out alive. Saudi Arabia at the World Cup, fair enough. Brazil, of course, going through. They've just conceded one. Georgia at the World Cup, fair enough. France going through. Portugal, of course, going through. Croatia and Italy going through. England! No, it's not coming home. It's not coming home. Oh my god. They've been, they've been absolutely smacked, guys. Oh my god. What on earth? What on earth? They finished bottom. Yikes. So in the round of 16, we're up against Algeria. Okay, guys, even Oyarzabal picked up an injury. So we've basically got no wingers. Almost playing on the left. Llorente on the right. Let's see what we can do against Algeria. Round of 16, 4-0. Sergio Ramos, we made a clutch call to pick him for the for the World Cup and he's scoring for us. On we go to the quarterfinals. I changed my mind, guys. If we get to the final, we'll play it. Oh my god, guys. Look at the teams in the quarterfinals. Well, at least somewhere Turkey's performing. It's Spain, Argentina. They're not starting Messi, guys. Interesting. They do not start Messi. By the way, I love the Argentina kids. I need to get that. They're not starting Messi. They've got Dybala. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can get the better of Argentina. Oh my god, it was close. 1-0. World Cup semi-finals. It's France. We beat them in the qualifiers. That gives me a bit of hope, but oh my god. Honestly, guys, if we had Oyarzabal and, um, uh, of course, Ferran Torres, I think we'd win. But not having them, I'm not too sure. Let's see. France, Spain. Please, please, please. Oh, come on. 85th minute winner. Benzema does us. Out of the World Cup. Ah. Well, Euros 2024. We're building a competitive team for that and we've done so. Can't wait for the Euros, I guess now. So France do end up winning the 2022 World Cup. Not surprised at all. Portugal beat us for the third place game. Guys, if we had Ferran Torres and Oyarzabal, who were two key parts of our team, I think it would be a lot better for us. But... Hey, it is what it is. We're in season three now, and the goal is now to push up until the Euros 2024 and build a team for that. But of course, I realized having like a left winger or a right winger backup is key. We saw what happened without that. So I've just signed Bara next year for Sevilla. We're going to try and build him up to a super high rating with development plans and all. It's been super effective for us. So that's the play. And let's hope he's ready for the Euros 2024. Okay, guys. So the Euros qualifiers have begun. For some reason, it didn't show up for me uh, earlier on. But it's begun now. And we're, we're topping it so far. Five games, five wins. I'm pretty sure the top two teams go through directly. So that's our goal. We'll, we'll show you the England game very soon. So... Yeah, Euro qualifiers going pretty well for us. Okay, so England are above us in the group, but of course, we've got a game in hand. So I think we're done with season. I don't know if this is season three or four. Maybe it's season three. Maybe it's season three. So um, we're done with season three. Um, the qualifiers are still going on. Right now, I'm honestly delighted with the team we've got. We just need um, Ferran Torres back in the team which we will get and we're sorted guys it's now a question of just getting to the euros and having everyone fit and i'm sure we can win it because our team is cracked honestly so we're at the final season before the upcoming euros 2024 we're still going through the qualification stages we're up against england next so again a good test to see how we do the good thing is all our first team players are available look at the rating on all our players apart from carvajal we're balling man can we beat england though Yep, we can. Oyarzabal is the difference, guys. 2-1. We need them fit, guys. We need them fit for the Euros. No way, guys. We completely messed up the qualifiers. How? I do not know. Kosovo finished above us. We had to go through a playoff round. And we knocked out England 6-4. What is this? What happened here? And this is our group. Denmark, Spain, Netherlands, and Slovenia. Poland, Belgium, Portugal, Germany. What even is that group? Kosovo, France, Czech Republic, and Azerbaijan. These groups are mental. I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, so the Euros 2024 is here and time for us to pick the squads. This is what I'm rocking, guys. Look at the ratings on some of these players. Just bonkers, man. Apart from our right back, everybody's like 90 plus rated in the first 11. Pedri, Puig, Rodri, all of them getting picked. Ansu is 94. Ferran Torres, 95. This is crazy. We're picking Adama Traore for a bit of pace as well. 
That's what we're rocking, guys, for the Euros. I'm ready. We want to get to the final and play the game. If not, we're not going to be playing any games, guys. So we better get to that final. All right, boys. Um, the Euros begin. We got to start off with a win. With this team that we've got, there's no way we're dropping points. Ansu Fati with a brace. Oyarzabal and Ferran Torres scoring. The Euros is coming to Spain. This could be the game that decides who tops the group, guys. We're playing at the Bernabeu, surprisingly. Spain versus Netherlands. 3-1. Love that. Love that, especially considering we've got one shot at winning the Euros. We needed this. Final group stage game against Denmark. Let's wrap it up and top the group. That's exactly what we've done. Hey, let's go. I don't like the fact that Pedri got sent off, though. How mad is it that Kosovo and Luxembourg are in the round of 16 of the Euros. So many big names missing. We've drawn Turkey. Um, Ukraine are in here as well. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's a one-off game. If somehow we lose this, I will genuinely cry. With the team that we've built, no way, man. It can't happen. It can't happen. It was close. An 88th minute Ferran Torres winner. They even missed a penalty. This is stressful, man. Are we gonna make it to the finals? I really don't know. I would have loved to avoid Germany in the quarterfinals. Oh, come on. It could be all over. All the effort we've put in to build this Spain team. One shot, one opportunity. We need to get past them. Please, guys, please. Let me get past Germany. Semi-finals. We got to the World Cup semi-finals. We got to make it to the semis here as well. Oh my god. And I told you guys, this is one shot. We get one shot at the Euros 2024. We win or we don't. That's the that's the stakes of this fixing challenge, guys. We're not going to do it endless until we win it. That's the pressure. And we crumbled, guys. Oh my god. Ricky Puig scored for us. Werner missed the pen as well. Extra time, man. Nah, dude, this is brutal. How didn't we win the Euros, man? Was it the right back? But then we had Regulon playing there with the rating. I genuinely can't believe we didn't win the Euros. And that sucks. But you know what? At least in terms of making a team that can compete, we did that. We did that in the Euros. We made an unbelievable team that can compete at the top. World Cup semi-finals, Euros quarter-finals. Uh, gutted though, gutted. Such a stacked team and we couldn't win the Euros. Next week, we'll be doing this with another nationality. I'm going to win the Euros with at least one team, guys. With this one-shot approach. That's it, I guess, guys, for today's video. No gameplay. Uh, I'm really disappointed, guys. But if you enjoyed the challenge, drop a like in the video. Let me know what nation we should do this next with. Subscribe as well if you're new around here. Twitch is where I record these videos live. And I'll catch you all next time.